What's going on, guys? Your boy Bo Rakes in Porter Platte at the Malecon this morning. I'm gonna give y'all a day in the life. 7 a.m. right now. You know, I'm an early bird. I've been up since 5 o'clock. Did my little workout. But it's a typical day of an expat on the north coast. It's Sunday. Uh, we're right here where the Malecon starts at. Playa Long Beach. You got some guys out here cleaning up the beach. You got some cats over there fishing already. Um, you can see, you can see a couple over there. They just getting their day started out here early at the beach. That's pretty cool. This is pretty much what I do. Come out here and get my walk in. I walk from from the beginning down to the fort and back. And you know, I just love being in DR. Some of you guys are in uh, you know Panama, Costa Rica, whatever country you're in, and. You know, you go to start eating and there's no preservatives in the food. You can get fresh food. They ain't selling nothing that's out of season. And when you get old like me, you know, yesterday was my birthday, man. Uh, you know, health is wealth, man. You get 64, 65 years old, you just want to keep your back strong, keep that, keep that wood hard. <coughs> and, uh, you know, that's what we got. So I try to stay active, do my stretches. I uh, do my push-ups. You know, last night I was in um, Sasua, and a uh, little kid reminded me when I was uh, his age, man. He, he was ripped up. He had to be about six, seven years old. He might have been eight. Challenged me to some push-ups, earned his 100 pesos, you know. And uh, all the little kids who who ain't gonna be no sorry-ass little, little um, young men, they know they don't, come, they don't come begging when they see me. They know. Give me, give me some push-ups. I'll give you a couple dollars. That's what it is, man. That's where I'm at with it. Health is wealth. And I just like being over here, being active. Yeah, so basically, man, I'm gonna shoot this video day in the life. You know how I spend my day when I'm over here. Uh, a lot of people, they don't know what to do when they retire. I have a lot of free time. And I do the same, pretty much the same routine I do if I'm in America. I get up, I go work out, whether that's riding my bike, walking two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten miles, and when is there? Hold on. Hey, boo. All right, so, so sewer versus Porta Plata, right? You got people, older people get up and whatever, they get up and move around in sewer, but I want to live around the locals. Know about Rose Pub. Come down here to the Malecon. You'll see a lot of people walking, working out, riding their bike. It's quiet, peaceful. It's all about the quality of life that you you, you know you want to have. What is this? Shout out to my bro Don. You know Don Perry. No, I don't give him too much information about him, but uh, he knows what I'm talking about. We were staying in Porta Plata together. We'll get up early in the morning, man. Six o'clock. Go walk for two hours, man. Shit. Go have some beer after that, then go have some lunch. It's just about the life that you create. And shout out to, uh, shout out to, uh, shout out to my boy EP. Met EP the other day. Shout out to Will from Dallas. I met a lot of cool cats. Stopped in Sasua for a minute. When it got uh, Fresh Freddy's. Shout out to Finger Finger. Holler at him, you know, got with my boy Johnny on 78. I've been coming to Susua, North Coast, Dominican Republic since 2013. Moved here sight unseen. Been coming to DR since 2007, South Coast. The reason I live in Puerto Plata, cause I just can't do the same shit every day. You know, you got guys coming in town for a week or two, two, three weeks. Maybe their first time, fifth time, tenth time. You know, you guys are having a good time. And that's that's good. You have a good time, enjoy yourself. 
but some, some people that live here, I can't hang out with the same cats that live here and do the same thing every day, predictable. You gonna go to the beach, sit there and look at women all day. Man, that, do, that, that don't excite me. That don't, and then I see your health fading. Every time I see you, fatter and fatter. I understand some of y'all cats, you're older, you may be retired, semi-retired, you got nothing to do all day. But being 67 to 80 years old, just looking at ass all day, cat calling women, if that excites you, that excites you. Even when I lived in Sasua, I didn't do that every day. More of my story is, I live like, like a Dominican. I live life like a straight up Dominican. I'm not going to eat at Bailey's every day. If I live here, I'm not finna go to a bar and pay 500 pesos for a drink when I can go to a liquor store and pay a thousand pesos for a bottle. And some business owners, they feel like every American, every black American or every expat should come spend money at their bar. And hey man, we, we, we support you, bro. We support your business, whoever you are, but I'm not going to Bailey's every day eating a thousand peso breakfast, um, paying 300 pesos for a beer. That's how you go broke. Guys, if you're not out here managing your money, you're gonna be broke soon. If you're on a fixed income, you gotta start living like a local. You can't, you can do it, but then you'll be waiting for the first. So if you was in the habit of living check to check in America, you gonna be out here living check to check out here. Let me give you a little bit of my scenery. Look at that, look at that. Look at that beautiful scenery right there. I get to come out here and see this every day. I automatically just feel better when I'm out here. Right here, Kite Bar um, P.O.P. Y'all don't feel better? I just feel better already. I mean, I here on that bike, getting it, get it in. So you'll see a lot of people on their bikes riding or whatever they're doing. Hey, boo. Okay, sis, I see you out there. Look at this dog. That's how I'm living. I'll be out hanging out. That's me right there. Not a care in the world. It's in the sand. The dog chilling. But man, get you, get you a bike. <laughs> get you a bike. Start walking, stay active, keep your back strong, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, man. You know, I don't really, I don't have nothing, it's just me personally. I, I'm not spending my time with a bunch of men every day doing the same thing. Um, I'm not in a fraternity. <laughs> I'm, not in, I'm not in none of that. I, I don't need to hang around five, six, 10 dudes every day to be cool. And then I see some of y'all cats, some of my homies do it. Hey man, what's up? I, I say, hey, and I and I go. Cause ain't that worse than a bunch of old ass men being messy and catty. I hate when grown men play play little boy games. Man, I'm walking on the beach yesterday. I see some cats I know. I figure, hey, I'll sit down and stop with you for a minute. But they play games, they sit there and holler at women, can't speak no Spanish, you know, hey, me the, me the, hola, ben aquí. You know, hand gesture, come, come. And I'm sitting there twiddling my thumbs and my phone and point at me, oh, go to him. Man, stop doing that whole shit, man. Don't call no woman for no other man. Just sitting there playing games. Oh my God, bro. These guys, Man, shout out to everybody who got a wife, a, 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 a life partner, girlfriend, and that like these long-ass men. 
The worst thing in the world is a lonely ass man who's still trying to be a player. It's depressing. It's sad to see. Shout out to um, EP, man. I, I met brother EP first time out here. Every time I seen him, he just sitting by himself. Smoking a cigar, having a drink, or just joining the scenery. Having, I sat down with him, had an intelligent conversation. I go down to the beach, go down a little further. I run into the same guys that I know. And all they talk about, man, you see, uh, what is it? You see, man, that girl was thick over there in that corner. Now you see uh, that girl right there in that, in that pink? I bet she got some good cat. Man, look how fat that cat is. Look how fat that ass is. Bro, I expect more from somebody been living out here five, 10 years. And uh, young guys that's in your 20s and your 30s, man, don't be like these old Negroes, bro. Don't be like these old Negroes. They come out here on whatever fixed income they got, and they just do the same thing every day. Next thing you know, five, 10 years are passing by. They still ain't got nothing. One stream of income, talking about bitches all day. Do me a solid, man. I know you've been out here five, 10, 15 years, and you ain't got shit, right? But don't use me. Don't try to hit me up and use me to come up off me. I tell people all the time, we can come up together, but you'll never come up off me. They see people like myself, other brothers, that came out here with a plan. And this ain't this don't go for just the artists, go for any country. And they wait. And they'll hit you up, man. Boy, I got this guy that got some money. Some of y'all are the guys with the money. And you got a broke friend that's barely getting by. He come to you with these bright ideas. You know, a get rich quick scheme. But they trying to use you to come up. But can't bring nothing to the table. That's some woman activity. If you playing middleman, you got some connections. Okay, cool. But you know, introduce the people. You make a deal with your partner. Your man bringing the money. We putting a deal together. You man, you work that out. I see a cat last night. You know, on the business. You know, they, they want you to stop by. If you know you you somebody who can bring some people into somebody's business. They want you to stop by. They want you to come spend some money. Bro, I value my dollar. Every dollar that I have and every dollar that I get. I'm not finna come spend my money at your bar just cause you a, 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 a expat, a black guy from America with a bar. I'm not doing that, man. Man, if I see you, if you're a bar owner, and I see you treat your staff like shit, and you talk to your staff like shit, I'm not coming to support you at all. That boy had a sick bite. And I'm gonna give you the A. I give you that A. I ain't fucking with you. And if I see you and I know you, I'm gonna stop. Turn around. Hey man, what's up? Woo, woo, woo. We'll chop it up. You ain't finna use me, dog. Play with them hoes. Don't play with me. So this is Miami bar. And upstairs now is South Beach. This is interesting. Okay. Shout out to everybody who who has a bar and running a bar out here in the Dominican Republic or in other countries. If you never ran a bar, you never had a business, you never knew how to balance a checkbook, you know, you don't know how to do customer service, don't open a bar. I've seen so many people come down here, have a bar, and it don't make no money. Now, if you got the money to withstand the startup six months a year, cool. But it's cats out here that got a bar, and it's just a job for them. They just in business to be in business. Man, make your money in America. Make your money in your country. Make it in Canada. Um, whatever country you're in, <clears throat> then come here, have some passive income, and sit here and live. Do you know how hard it is to come to the Dominican Republic 
and make a living off some pesos. And shout out to anybody who has a bar over, that's been doing a bar for over two years. But me personally, I ain't leave one slave master for another slave master. I don't wanna have to come here and do no work. Yeah, <laughs> it's working whatever you do, you know. Building houses, it's not an easy thing. But I'd rather build a house than run a damn bar. You know, shout out to everybody that's doing it well. Everybody can't do it well. And you know the ones who doing it well, cause they look good doing it. But I don't want to sit here and have to be nowhere for eight, 10, 12 hours. That's not, that's not fun to me. I might be, that work for somebody else. Again, this is just my personal opinion, what I wouldn't do. But shout out to everybody who's doing that and having, <laughs> having success in doing that. I'd rather make $50,000 in one year here doing a little work versus making 30,000 here or $20,000 here and doing a whole lot of work. You got guys here that's doing Airbnb. Some may have one, two, three, four, five, and you putting in a lot of work for your ROI. And some people have to do that. And some people got enough bread where $20,000 ain't enough money for them to do a lot of work. If you run an Airbnb and after your cost, you pulling in $1,000 a month, I say that's a, that's a good business. And that's $12,000 a year, let's say. Just playing with numbers, you know your numbers, $12,000 a year. You, got, you might got four or five. But to me, the Airbnb business, that shit just sound good. For somebody who's been doing Airbnb since 2016, uh, our Airbnb was successful because, you know, we had a duplex. Or we, you know, have a duplex. We live in one side and rent the other side out. I don't know, man. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm just ranting on this workout on this beautiful morning. I'll get back with y'all in a minute when I figure out something. Else. Man, I didn't notice this the last time I was out here. This is where I normally come get my fish at. They built a little dock out there. That's pretty cool. Las Yolas. Let's see what this is. What are they building right here? Ah, uh, okay. They building a little spot. All right, so this is in Porta Plata, Plata, right down from the fort. This is where all the fishermen come and they sell fish. So I'm guessing right now, they're gonna open a little place where you come get your fish at. That's pretty cool. All right, back here at the fort. A lot of y'all know this place right here. Port of Plata. Got my dog right here holding things down. Oh, I just feel so good when I'm here. I'm gonna go to the market today, get some fresh fruit, and post up. Yeah, that's a, that's a girl. I got the police lady. Got the big ass titties. <laughs> 